Okay, so we uh, finished up, and here is our problem statement. Uh, I've only added these three things on top, only one customer at a time, only two shapes. Delivery cost is constant for everyone so that we know that we're not going to be charged by mile or, or or by range or whatever it is. It's everyone Everyone's charged $5. All right, now I have to make a human algorithm out of this. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start copying from our first, what we call constant, and that is the a number. And I copy that all the way down to total price. Then I copy it. Uh, I'm going to open up another, another notepad, but not really. I'm just going to move this down so we have a blank screen. So I have a new notepad file. I paste it in. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to remove all the spaces in my names. So everything that has a name here is going to get a space removed. And you're wondering why. Well, why didn't we just leave the spaces out in the first place? And that's because human, the uh, problem statement is for other another human being, and it looks kind of crazy if there's no uh, nothing, no spaces in the names. It doesn't make sense to them. Um, but if you were to do it in your assignment and leave the spaces out, I would not deduct any points. I just want to let you know that, you know, real world, we'd have to leave the spaces in because. The pizza guy that we're going to be doing this for won't understand when we have all these space without all these names without spaces and won't know what what we're doing. But since we know what we're doing, we can now remove all the spaces because the computer does not allow spaces in names. So we're going to get rid of all these. All right, and almost done. And since we copy and pasted from the bottom up, all these names are consistent. And that's why we copy and paste rather than typing. Anytime you're going to push it down on a key, um, on the, on a key, you're going to put uh, have a chance of putting a error in. So that's why we copy and paste so we get rid of our errors. All right. So these first three are fine, but I do have some input, and the first input is size, and then I'm going to copy this and paste it two more times because this is an input and this is an input. Oh, here we get rid of the word calculation. We don't need that anymore. That's not going to be part of our stuff. And then, uh, okay, this is all good. This is all good. And the last thing we do is say, okay, well, I have only one output on this one. And that's going to be the total price. So look how, how easy that was. Now we have, this is what our human uh, algorithm is. And now we can make a flow chart based upon these steps. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my um, Visual Logic, and I'm going to be using copy and paste to paste in all the objects. So the first thing I have, I have three assumptions. So I'll do the first one. Assumptions are always assignments because I'm going to assign a value to a place in memory. So here's my place in memory. And let me go ahead and make this smaller. I paste it in. I can't see it, but if I drag down the bottom, we try to make it so that it all fits in there, but sometimes it doesn't. So if we do, if we just drag down the bottom, we can see what the rest of the name is. Um, it all caught at all possible. Uh, make it so that there's it fits in that. It just makes your life a little bit easier. And that's 20 cents, so I'll get, I can type that in. Point two zero. Could I could have copy and paste it just as easy? So there's my first one. And let's go as fast as we can. By now, you should be able to know how to do this. Next one is our round pie cost. That fits. And 0.15 for that. And then we have our next one, which is an assignment. Delivery price. And that is five. Notice no dollar signs. Put a dollar sign in there. It will not calculate because the dollar sign is um, text. All right. So the next thing I need to do is uh, put my input. And that's why I put input in here. I know that. Well, that's just the shape. That's the uh, kind of sh uh, symbol I'm going to be using, and that's an input. Whoa. All right. So the next one is size. And then I have to ask a question. How many 
inches? Sounds like a good question to me. I end it, I started and ended it with quotes. Then I do my next input. Gosh. And this one is shape. And the question is going to be what shape? Question mark. And then I'm going to take these and copy and paste it in. So they know what it is. And I have to end this with a quote. Again, start and end with quotes. And okay, and then I have another input. And that one is delivery. And then on the question I'm going to ask, do you want it delivered? Question mark, yes, slash no. And I have to end this then with a quote. All right, so now I have those first ones in, and I'm ready to move on to the next one. And that is if shape equals square, so I'm going to make a decision for that. That's an if condition. And then when I double click on it, this is my if condition right here. I just have to copy and paste that. You don't put the word if in there. That's what the diamond represents. If it's true, I have to do these two assignments. So I'm going to go ahead and make an assignment. And that is square inches on one side and on the other side is the other part of the calculation. And By copying and pasting I can ensure that this thing is going to work first time every time. Alright, then I have another assignment and that is the next and that is I have square inches on the left and I have square inch pi costs on the right. So I copy and paste. All right. Well, on the else side, which is the false side, I have the same, pretty much almost the same thing as here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my mouse pointer icon right here, hold down my left mouse button, drag down to select these two objects. Then I'm going to copy them. And I'm going to come to this side, turn this screen, right mouse click, and paste. And uh, the reason why I do that is that the left side is the same for both sides. So all I got to do is now edit these and put the right calculation in. So for the other side, I'm going to be using this instead of side by size times size. Because anytime you can copy and paste, you're going to save yourself from making an error. And then we're going to do this. Whoops and replace square with round. Sweet. All right, so that's all done. And now I have, um, next thing I have is this calculation. So I'm going to go ahead and do an assignment. Whoops, that's too many. And this is going to be Pi price on one side, and then this calculation is square inches times that on this side. All right, now we do that out underneath. If we put it both on both sides, it would still work, but then we'd have two of these instead of one, and that's inefficient, and we never want to be inefficient. All right, so <clears throat> the next thing we're going to do is we have to do this next decision. So we have another if condition. And again, I'm just going to copy what's to the right of if. And then I, on the right hand side, I have a assignment. And that assignment is delivery cost on one side. And on the other side, delivery price. So I'm doing Control-C, 
control V to copy in those things. And what happens on the other side? Nothing. So we leave it blank. We don't need to have anything on there. So the last thing I have to do is this piece of math, the total price. Again, that comes outside of the decision because we do it every time, regardless of delivery. And we say that the total price, whoops, come on, the total price is equal to the pie price plus delivery cost. Okay, and I paste that in. Oh, come on. Okay, I did it twice. All right, there's that. I click OK. Right, and I'm ready to go on to the final thing, and that is my output. And the output, I'm going to be using total price. So I'm going to go ahead and put an output symbol. Now with the output symbol, it's not just total price. I want to put a label on there, and the label has quotes. And I'm going to say the total price is dollar sign close quote. And I want to join that literal or that text with total price. And I click OK. And now to run it, I just hit the play button. It asks me how many inches, and I say 10. And I say, what is the shape? And I put in quotes, square. Okay, because so it has to be, whoops, has to be the same as that. If I put a capital S, it's, it's going to be uh, a round. And then when delivery, I'm just going to say no. And then my total price is $20. All right, so that is 10 10 times 10, because I put in that for that, so it's 100 square inches times 20 plus times 20 cents, and that gives me 20. So I know that this is working. Uh, and if I go ahead and play it one more time, and I say 10 inches again, I say square. I should be doing round, but I don't know the round off the top of my head what the answer is. Um, and then I say yes, this, I want delivery. Now it's $25 because we added the $5 for the delivery charge. And that's it. That's how you take a problem statement, turn it into a human algorithm, and then to copy and paste that into your flowchart. And then we test the flowchart and say, yes, it does work. Now I'm ready to code.